show y'all what the lights look like on this thing. Give you an idea, this is uh, someone cut the cab lights off. And this is just the, <laughs> that's two on the boom that are still the halogen bulbs. I've got, I got more lights coming for it. I just, the one that I'm fixing to turn on, I'm fixing to turn on the, uh, just a cab light. That's boom lights that are on. There's two of them out there. There's a, that's one 20 inch bar shining straight out. And then over here on this side, you can see what this one on the side looks like. So I've got two coming for the boom up there. And then I've got one coming for this right hand side. It's going to be a 12-inch bar that's going to be shining out that way. And then I'm going to put two six and a half inches on the back back there, kind of split the difference on them. But you can see, like even uh, let's see, let me go up right here. The good thing about that light bar is the way I've got it aimed. It's kind of lighting up everything on out away from me out there, and I like that because I can kind of see what's on out in front of me rather than just right here and see what i'll do is is uh when i change those two on the boom out on each side of the boom then i'll aim them to hit right in here where the grapple in this area right in here where the grapple is going to be at that's what i'll do with that but I run this machine a good bit this week i uh, did i'm not sure how many jobs i've done this week it's been several of them i worked on one this morning went and done it real quick i got everything moved back here i went I was over in caledonia and uh the the ground is still really wet and you have to really kind of pick and choose where you're going to work at and i didn't take this machine with me because i knew it was going to be wet over there so i took the kubota i also had to take mats with me too i took mats and laid them out i had to set the dump trailer and my 5500 both up on mats to get them where i loaded but anyhow i got that job done and got everything moved back here by 12:40 when i got back and i took off and and left uh ate lunch ran over gonna chase some turkeys i hadn't been able to go turkey hunting since march the 25th which was opening day in alabama i had not been back since then i killed a bird opening day in mississippi opening day in alabama and had not been back since been wanting to but just so much stuff going on and got over there today and I mean it was one of those just uh it was it wasn't even 10 minutes from the time I got out of my uh, truck and in there and had the bird shot and it once I got in there and got set up it was probably like I seen the bird in 30 seconds it was a miracle I didn't get busted but anyhow it's a real quick hunt I didn't even have time to get my heart rate up look there's there's four buckets right there plus a rake a root rake right there too claw and then i've got two more buckets under the shed over there <laughs> so i got two or well, i got six buckets is what i have <laughs> but this is gonna work pretty good my windows are starting to get uh get some dew on them now I'm gonna ease on back we got rain uh good bit today or not not a lot of rain just a steady rain this afternoon you see that that's an ls tractor sitting over there that's a friend of mine's and we put the uh wr long valve on it uh yesterday would have got it all done yesterday but we had a in the kit two of the uh fittings that they sent with it were wrong and he had to go to columbus rubber and get that fixed up but i did a video i don't know if i'm even gonna post it or not or how, how it did but because it just when we ran into that problem with it, it just kind of like peed on our party kind of you know what i mean but this is a uh, ls 6168 right there is a wr long valve this one has the constant flow hydraulic option on it to where you can run that uh lane shark he bought that and go on there this thing's kind of crazy the way it blows up see it's got this that thing in the middle of it it's kind of wild the way it does but anyhow we 
we tapped into the power beyond over here inside this tire well i was going to take his tire off and this these back tires on this tractor filled with water y'all god dog didn't know it and uh we pulled them off i went to move it and you could only move that thing uh and the only way we got that tire back on there today was i had to use the hyundai and actually slide the tire on it to, to get it back there we'll get the lugs on it and stuff but anyhow all he's got to do is wire up his joystick now it's not working he's going to have to wire it up he can he can handle that but all the plumbing on his stuff he got to tidy it up to you know, so get that done but yeah the uh and i was a little disappointed too like when i put the wr long valve on my tractor over there the instructions were not really good and they're they're just i don't know they leave a lot out i mean they it's not like just great great instructions they could they could do better on the instructions i'll get i'll tell them that they could do better on instructions this one over here they could do better on instructions too but got it done but you can see them and them freaking light bars you can see the little lights up there the difference in them up yonder and it'll be up real good and you can see this one over here lighting this thing. see it right there it's like i said there'll be two six and a half on the back shooting out this out straight out the back i'll kind of angle them kind of out from one another and then a 12 firing over a toward my truck and then I'm going to take the strobe that's on top of the Kubota. It never did. It worked right till the plug got wet on it. The uh, the plug that goes in the cigarette lighter, it got wet. When it got wet, it just raining on everything. It kind of messed it up. I'm sure the strobe still works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that strobe off of that machine because it's one of those real narrow strobes. It's about 16 or 18 inches wide or maybe a 12 inch wide one or something. And I'm gonna hardwire it in. If it'll, when I check it, if it'll still work, I'm just gonna hardwire it into the uh, plug up there on the back and get that done. That way, I'll have a strobe up there on it too. So, yeah, I'll show you all these spurs off this turkey. Today is some dead gum jam up spurs. I mean, look at them hooks on that thing, man. And there's a beard. The beard's almost 11 inches long. And here's the spurs off the last one I killed. There's some hooks on that one too. There's there's they're like needles on it, man. I like turkey hunt. I blast a lot of turkeys uh, through the years. There's some from last year up here sitting up here. I got to get them fixed up. Uh, I usually take them and fix them up or whatever and stuff i got them all grouped together but anywho so i'm fixing to run the machine up in here and we're gonna call it a night that's what we're gonna do but yeah we'll catch y'all later later taters <laughs>